Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and easy technique of how to kind of blur your background in, uh, in an image. Uh, you can use this a lot for advertisements or uh, billboards, that sort of thing. Or uh, I recently uh, helped my fiance edit some pictures of her, her new niece with this technique to kind of make the subject matter of the image stand out. So I'm going to go ahead and just get into it here. And it's a real easy uh, couple minute technique that you can do on a large scale if you would like or whatever you need it for. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the background layer and I'm going to press Control J on the keyboard to copy my layer. The other way that you could do that is by clicking on the background layer and dragging it down into your new layer button here. And that would also make a copy of your background. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rename that layer Blur because that's exactly what I'm going to do to it now. With my new layer selected, Blur, I'm going to go up to Filter, down to Blur, and I'm going to use a Gaussian Blur. Uh, go ahead and play around with the other blurs to see what kind of effect that you like the most. A Motion Blur might be kind of nice in this uh, technique as well. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do a Gaussian Blur. And just to uh, illustrate kind of the uh, the effect a little bit more on screen. I'm going to go ahead with a, a pretty pretty substantial blur, maybe a 50 pixel blur or so. Um, I would recommend trying a little bit less if you're doing a, a depth of field sort of technique. But if you really want something to pop out, the more blurred, kind of the better. But uh, be aware that also the more blur that you have, the more um, photoshopped your image is going to look. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to do a fairly substantial blur. Let's go with actually more like 30, I think. Okay, and I'll press OK. Um, and, uh, like I said, uh, now this layer is blurred. So, with, uh, with our layer still selected, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer mask by clicking on this button down here. And with your, uh, your layer mask selected now, I'm going to go over to my brush and select a brush. And I want uh, black to be in the foreground and white to be in the background so that the first thing that I'm going to be doing essentially is erasing uh, from my, my new layer. Uh, I want my hardness of my brush. Uh, if you go up to the top here and click on your, your brush, you uh, want to set the hardness to zero and the size you can kind of play around with, but it should be fairly large to erase um, the image that you need. And I'm just going to go ahead and go around and erase out the parts that I want to not be blurred, kind of the main focal point of the image. I don't want blurred. All right, so here we go. Go ahead and erase. And I'll go ahead and go around the woman and erase as well. And as you can see, I didn't change the size of the brush to go around the woman. And that's to show you uh, one thing here in a second, which I'll go ahead and show you. So let's say I go ahead and did that. Okay, uh, okay, so you get done brushing away the areas that you don't want blurred. And you decide that there's an area that you would like to have blurred. So all you have to do is simply change, uh, reverse the colors by um, pressing D on your keyboard. Or you can simply click this uh, little arrow button here to switch the foreground and background colors. You want white to be in the foreground to brush back in the areas that you want blurred. And you can change the size of your brush by clicking on your brush up here and changing the size. So you can go in and be a little bit more precise. And as you can see, as of right now, you have a completely blurred background and the focal point of your image is unblurred except for on the edges, which I have done on purpose. Uh, as you can tell here, this might be a really nice... Uh, way to do an ad, you know, maybe put some text up here. And it would uh, it'd look pretty nice. I'm just quickly throwing some text up here, but essentially your tutorial is over. I hope you've learned something. Um, please uh, visit visit my blog. It's glazefolio.com slash blog. And uh, find me on Facebook and Twitter. 
and uh, tell your friends if you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Um, let me add one last thing. Uh, like I said, this looks very photoshopped. If you wanted it to be a more realistic look, simply just uh, dumb down the blur and I'll just... One way you can do that if you think your blur is too much is to just simply take the opacity of this blur layer down. And as you can see, it's uh, quite a bit more realistic at 50% or something like that, but you still have made your image pop a lot. And actually, I think that looks quite a bit better. So, anyway, uh, have a great day, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.